Uh, yeah, there you go, live. Good morning. Hi, it's Kathy from Always in Stitches. We're kind of getting the routine down of how to keep track of our time and get all this put together. So um, I'm going to show you fabric this morning because, gosh, we've got so much stuff coming in the store all day long. And I literally have like four or five fabric lines to show you that are fresh in the shop that I don't want you to miss getting because I can tell you when we get it, it's gone. So first, look how pretty this is. This is called Dream Catchers. And it has the succulents in it and a butterfly and feathers. I wonder if Stephanie's actually seen this come in. Stephanie I she, hasn't seen it. So she's going to go like, what, when she sees it because she loves it. But look, look how pretty these are. You know, you just can't tell when a piece of fabric's folded up how gorgeous it is. Look at this. What a sweet, sweet look. Is that not pretty? I just am in love. The colors are so soft and... Um, this make a great quilt for a gift or for if you were decorating you know a, a kitchen or maybe a family room um, and this you know here's what the designers do so well they give you your large print look at these nice big succulents isn't that fabulous that'd be great on a placemat table runner so they give you your large print with kind of a larger larger prints here here's your medium here's your stripe for your bindings Here's another kind of neutral. These give you your neutrals. And then some more um, colored backgrounds to work with. So, so you have your large, medium, small, your light, medium, dark. Um, you always want to work with those colors when you're trying to make uh, quilts. Those kind of help pull your quilt colors together and give it dimension and, and uh, depth that you want when you make a quilt. So I'm loving this. I don't know. That's not my style typically, but I might have to invest in that one. What are you, Peter? Are you into that one or not? It's not I, got I any like horses. the I like the feathers and the blue polka dot. Yeah, I love this polka dot. That's gorgeous. And and, and I like the one. stripes and I love the tossed butterflies. Yeah, that's fun too. It's just a great one. Oh, I didn't see that print with yeah, the names. Yeah, isn't this cool? Anything okay, with like words, that. I love I like this. That. I just see a tablecloth, table runner, you know, cutesy tootsie. That's cool. Mug rugs, yeah. Oh, mug rug would be an awesome Wouldn't idea. Mug rug be great for that? Because the Christmas. size of that print. Yeah, right. Perfect. Okay, so now we're going to, this is kind of, <laughs> he's walking backwards. I don't want him to fall over because he already broke one arm. Okay, so we're going to do like a couple things at once here. We've already got the pre-cuts on this pedal power. And if you're familiar with me and my sister, Barb and Mary, who, oh my gosh, the nicest ladies. I've had the opportunity, and it's been a real blessing for me to spend a couple different maybe even three weekends with them at retreats. Nicest ladies you'll ever meet. So much fun, so energetic, so creative. Um, and like a lot of the motor designers, they kind of build on their previous colorways, which makes it really nice because you can kind of collect their fabric and build with it. So anyway, this is what we have from them right now called Petal Power. And what I love about this is it's kind of got some of their bests come back at different sizes. So we'll show you the bolts here in a minute, but we've got charms, we've got layers, we've got jellies, and we have a really outstanding kit, which is right here. What is it? Me and my sisters, what's it called? I think of you every daisy. Wah, wah, wah. I love that. And That's a beautiful pattern. Isn't that a great pattern? And they they are the best. They write the very user-friendly patterns. Very, um, they make sense. You know, it's like they, sh they cut half square triangles the right way. And they put things together the right way. So that it's not, um, it's not hard. It's not complicated. It's not like you do four steps and you go back and you're doing the same step again over. So they're very, very good about writing a nice pattern. So we teased you with those. Let me show you the bolts because... They are fabulous. So look at the, again, okay, I'm, I'm working on a color theory process class that I'm teaching pretty soon. And I want you to look how they've got the large prints. So these are nice, large, bold, big. You've got a light background, then you've got some other medium and darker backgrounds. Then you have kind of what almost reads like a tone on tone, and it's a smaller print. These are precious. This would be great in just any collection just to have for filler. Um, and see here, the white background there, so that reads a little more 
um, doesn't read tone on tone like these read more tone on tone. Here's your basic white, which we love. Can't go wrong with the tone on tone, white on white. And then here's your geometrics. So we've got a floral, we've got a geometric, and then we have these lovely dots. Can I just say I'm loving the purple and green combination? The yes. purple and teal. Isn't that great? Love it. That and you know, on the color wheel, those are great colors to put together. That's that's you know, if you look at a color wheel, you want those colors together because they're gonna make each other pop. And then our dots. We have one little random floral. This is kind of funkadoo. I love that. There's more random florals. More random florals down, down here. here. Okay, now we can't get them all up here. And then stripes. Look at these. Okay, here's the trick. I love to cut bias binding because mainly when there's a stripe on a pattern, I get my stripe at an angle. But if bias binding freaks you out, you can now cut this with the fabric. Gives uh, you the bias effect. Gives you the bias effect, and you didn't have to do the bias cutting. Although, if you watch my bias cutting video, you'll find out super simple. It's not that as hard as it looks. Very simple. Very simple. Yeah, Peter's like sworn now. He's like, yeah. I do it that way. I had Cappy give me one-on-one -on -one instruction until I got it. Yeah, and he's got it now. So, and then these are the ginghams. And look how pretty. And Now, they may not call those ginghams. They probably call them plaid or something. But I'm going to call them gingham because it's a, it's a gingham. It's a diagonal. It's, cool. it's gorgeous. It's a wavy gingham. It's a wavy gingham. It makes your eyes wiggle. And then these are nice florals, too. Nice geometric. So, again, me and my sister do an awesome job of blending your um, your lines. So if you're not confident in picking out colors and colorways, they do a really nice job of it. Now, on the back side of that, I want to show you real quick some that we got in. We're talking about binding again. Because, you know, the binding is part of the most important part of your quilt. It's the part that frames it. It's the part that is the, ta-da, it's done, look at it. So, again, we have... These stripes that are printed at an angle so you can straight cut if you would like to do your binding and it appears like it's biased but it's not and then these I just went crazy these make yeah, these the best bindings Polka dots now you would have stripes. to bias cut these and the reason you want to bias cut not only just for the visual effect but also for the functionality when you bias cut fabric it has a nice stretch to it and it really turns nicely around the quilt and it doesn't bunch and it doesn't bubble. So bias binding does have some very good um, architecture features that make it a great, great way to cut your binding rather than straight cut. And maybe we just need to do another technical video on that so they can see all about bias binding and how to cut it. Drop but, us a comment if you want to see bias yeah. cut binding with Cappy. We can do it again because it's fun. It's yeah. fun. Okay, now we're headed to, I lost my note, grab a note. Oh, do we, we'll do this one. We got time for this yeah. one. Okay, this came into this one. Oh, loving this, loving this, loving this. It's um, Northcott's Prairie Meadow Feathers again. Um, again, look at how the, if you're having trouble putting your fabrics together and knowing, okay, how do I mix and match? First of all, let the designers do it. They do it really great. But when you look at a complete line, you're going to see large, medium, small, light, medium, dark, florals, geometrics, and stripes. Um, this one actually has a nice, I don't want to misspeak, I think this is a wide back right here. Yeah, that looks like a wide back for it sure. It does, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. A lot of yardage on that bolt. Yeah, she's a big old girl. I can't pick her up. Yes, this is a wide back. So look how you have your wide back. Oh, I don't know. That might be a purse. That might have to be made into a handbag. You know, it goes really good with that navy that navy that you leather. got. Leather. Uh-huh, the navy yeah. leather. I kind of made up a purse pattern I need to make for you guys and show you. But anyway, he's going to show you real quick the uh, sample. And there's a um, pattern we have on order to make it just like the sample he's showing you right now. We should have that pattern fairly soon. And it's such a cool pattern. I think it would make into any fabric. That one's outstanding but it would make any fabric. And then there's another one called Katie Hawk that we carry for that too. So I got just about this much time. We're gonna pop over to Tim Holtz. Cause we all love Tim Holtz. I actually, uh, uh, this is another guy I've met when we were at market. Nicest fellow you'd ever meet. Just, just real personable. So we recently, um, eclectic elements, worn crocodile pebbles. I love this. This this just screams make a quilt into me. <laughs> 
it's it's got a nice masculine feel which I think sometimes is hard to find in quilts and then what we have to go with this right now and it would go with anything and these are just great these are all a Tim Holtz kind of the basics there's your barn wood there's your words there's your numbers look at this one that is right there is a basic you ought to just have in your stash you know if you just need that little bit of tone on tone gray and then look at this fun one. That's cool. Isn't that a great geometric? Yeah. That just, it it has a luscious feel to it and a luscious design. Really love that. Okay. I love those stars. Yes, stars are good too. They're all good. There's, there's not a bad bolt in the here. airplane. Plans. This is one you might really seriously look at our fat rolls. Um, there was some confusion on our staff's part because of me. That we didn't have these priced quite right but they're all right now these truly are per yard length so if you buy a fat roll like this it's per yard and just to drop a little to keep you watching you need to watch us for the next week or so and see our videos because we're going to have something special for you guys that watch our videos so don't 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 not watch you're going to miss it if you don't but i'm getting close on time so i want to say good morning goodbye good day have a wonderful time happy stitching